Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with me, Grey Hunter, and Nate, who's just gotten into a war. Well, he hasn't gotten into a war, somebody else has gotten into a war for him. Over France. So the Count of Tours and the Count and the Duke of Toulouse are fighting against the, the French king for us. Which could be interesting. I sort of want to see where this goes before making a move. So let's just start time up. Pop it up to three. <clears throat> we probably won't do anything for now. But I'd be interested to see which way the war goes. Uh, oh right, my good grandson. No, no, never excommunicate him. Um, who am I tutoring? Nicholas. Who's kind of good. And Brian. He's also kind of good. I sort of need to tutor him. Uh, okay. What about... Ah, he's not of age yet. Okay. But he's being tutored. Let's see. You're kind of all-round good at everything. Let's see what we can do for you in regards to getting somebody who's all-round good at something. You'd be eligible, except you're the wrong damn culture. Okay. What about... He might be good. Hmm, Germans. Yeah, you know what? Asklaten. He's kind of good. He's good enough. And what's this message? King Herman favors Duke Duran. Duran Duran? No. Okay, the king is winning. He's clear-sighted. Gives him what? Oh, extra intrigue. Done. Hmm. Earl Osmond? Who are you? You're Norman. That's good. Because wasn't that place not Norman? It was not. It was Breton still. Excellent. That's actually kind of good. Okay. That's nice. <clears throat> not something I have to worry about, which is good. How are we looking here? Fairly good. Got a university. We could build a monastic school. Let's do that. Technology increase is always good. Monastic schools are nice and cheap. They don't provide as much of a bonus as universities, but they're kind of good. Uh, legalism. Hell yeah. Now, you might be thinking, hang on, but if your legalism just increased by plus one, how come you didn't get a domain size increase? Because with technology. When they get one of those, it only cre increases it by 0.1. So before we were at 1.7, now we're at 1.8. But that's cool. King Herman wants to be King of France. Good for you. How's that going, by the way? Guillaume. He's still in charge. Fulk is no longer Guardian of Earl Nathaniel. Well, that's not good. Uh... Are you any good? Not really. No, you're kind of meh. Uh, Nate? Nate Jr. Jr. <laughs> you're going to be educated by Torf, I think. Torf knows what's going on. And the war is over. We did not become King of France. That is interesting. Jolly good. Uh, King Bishop Bryce of Scotland accepted the peace offer. Ah, they got Dunbar. Right, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, I've decided to institute the medium crown authority law in the Kingdom of France. I approve. You might be thinking, hang on, why do you approve of that? There is a reason. I'm appro- wow, at 86. Jeez. I'm approving that because he increased crown authority. If we ever get another chance at doing that whole uh, bid for the crown thing, he will have a harder time getting people to follow him. They might just revolt against him. So what are you good at? You're not really good at much. You've got diplomacy. So... Hmm. You're my granddaughter. You can go to Laura. Done deal. Um, and you... What are you good at? Wow, you're really good at diplomacy. 
You can also go to Laura. She's kind of good at this stuff. Okay. Now, I was having a bit of a ponder before we started. <clears throat> and I realized that we need some new blood. So next time a marriage thingy comes up, I think we're probably going to try and get some people to come to our uh, little mini-kingdom. The Lords of France have approved the institution of medium crown authority law. Good for you guys. Now, how long have we got left before this becomes de jour English? Eight years. Okay, that's good. That's actually really good. Okie dokie. No, I didn't want to click that. I want to go... Stop it. What about this? 70... 40... How's this all doing? That's going to become... De jour French soon enough. So is that. Wait, what? Nathaniel has contracted smallpox. No. No. We are spending money on these claims for a reason. You better not die, you, stu you son of a bitch. You better not die. Granted, we only have one claim at the moment. But they might multiply. They could. They might. I hope they will. <laughs> uh, oh dear. And dawn sets upon the... Well, dawn comes to the year 1178. How are you doing? What are you doing now? A holy war. I think I made it through this cursed disease. Poxy no more. Haha. <laughs> good. I was really worried there for a minute, because I kind of want him to be alive. It's sort of important. 10%. Why not? Join me. Mayor George Valencon died. Meh. Not my problem. An intriguing scheme. You will join me in my plot to kill him. Alright. Done deal, join me. Anybody else with some good plotting skill? You have some good plotting skill. You've just got base reluctance. Yeah, have some money. Winning. Nice. Good. Now how much does this next university cost in the city of Khan? It costs 800 bucks. Oh, we can't build it anyway. Ida de Harcourt. She is engaged to be married to him. That's nice. We can't build it anyway because we haven't got good enough town infrastructure. Trade practices, town infrastructure. Yeah, we're fairly behind on that one. But that's okay. The benefit is that we can build universities in a various amount of places. The only one that it really counts in here is here though, because Mortain is our capital. But that's okay. We could always build another city if we got the, uh, the funds. And we might just do that. How are you doing? Oh, they're trying to take out Barcelona. What used to be Genoa, but is now Barcelona. Interesting. Very interesting. And I believe I explained this in the last episode. Oh, hey! Wealth! Fuck yeah. Uh, I believe I explained this in the last episode, but the reason that France hasn't splintered, I think, is because it never got out of elective. And right now, the king is trying to... Well, he can't do it, but his heir might be able to raise crown authority to high, because then he can, if everyone loves him, change his succession law to primo. But I hope he doesn't do that, because I foresee an opportunity here. Uh, yes, they are reluctant. Yeah, whatever. Cool. Also, before I forget, I want to try and marry you. I'll arrange a betrothal between you and one of my granddaughters. Maybe? How old is he? He's six. She's just my kinswoman. Oh, I guess I don't have any more granddaughters to throw at him. Um, you can have Maud then. That will continue the alliance between us and the Holy Roman Empire, so if we ever become independent, we'll have a shield. 
which is quite nice. And it's handy, he's right there, so if we ever want to see what's going on, we can just click it. Yay, she got married. The peasants have revolted. Yes, I know, they're revolting. Alright, uh, raise the troops. 2,500. Many more. Okay, march. Am I leading those? No. I don't think I can. Maybe I can. Where's my army? This one. Uh, I will lead some of the cavalry. Can I do it? No, I can't because I've already got another task being given to me by the king. That bastard. That's okay. We still get the bonus for crushing rebels, so... Uh, the Pope likes us better. Awesome. Aha! Rebels crushed. And let's go home. So the plan is, hopefully, to become independent, which I know we can do, because we uh, currently give the king, who is just as old as we are, oops, he's currently older than we are, and he has the great pox. He's probably going to die very, very soon. Can he pass that on? No, he can't. Uh, when he dies, right now, we provide a full third of his levy. We provide 12,000 men. If we went to try and become independent, we would likely succeed because we have just so goddamn many people. The good thing about that is that it means that we can avoid having our land... Oh, wrong filter. We can avoid having our land become de jure part of the Kingdom of England. We've got six years before that happens. I plan to not be under his rule at that point, if possible. We might have to wait, but that's okay. I mean, we have the money to hire mercenaries if we need to. There's no way he's going to be able to beat us. And we can also build one of these. I like these. Standard keeps are brilliant, a plus 20% to your levy from that place. Uh, yes thanks, we'll be having that. Actually, what else can we build? We can build an expanded keep there. We can build a small barracks. I think I will. The only problem is that we have to wait a little bit because we haven't got a castle infrastructure of two yet. We need that. Uh, Baron Robert has inherited that from Baron Robert. Whatever. Not important. Brian is always counting money to make sure he gets the most of it. Uh, do I want him to become greedy? Minus one to diplomacy, but better at... Hmm. Yeah, whatever. It's a good thing. It doesn't seem like a good thing, but it is, because um, it increases your national tax modifier, which is really, really good, because you need the money. Especially if you're going to try and become a uh, independent. Actually, I should have probably kept some of that money. But we've got an income of 24.24, so... Eh, it could be worse. How are you guys doing? Could upgrade you to a castle city. It's not really worth it at the moment, though. My co-conspirator has let me know that he will be poisoned by wine. Excellent. Classic. Go forth and do it. Bring me his... head sort of. Just just kill him. Duke Nathaniel has successfully succeeded. <laughs> Redundantly redundant. Has successfully succeeded with the plot to kill Duke Ethelred. Success. He does not know what killed him. He died. I shall celebrate with beer. Perfect. So now we have no known plots against us, which is excellent because I don't like known plots against us. They're kind of annoying. Do we have any plots that we can choose? We could remove things. Kind of not really needed at this point, though. Um, yeah, we don't really need to, to do any plotting against anyone in particular. I will be happy once we have a little bit more retinue cap, though. Actually, hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm going to disband one of these. Yes, you. Goodbye. I would like more knights, thank you. Knights are good. Give me the knights. Nice. Again, that costs money that we shouldn't really have thrown away at this point, but 24.25, and we can always get more. Now, you, Kukre, I have decided to change your task. You are going to research economic technology. And I think... Yeah, you can research military tech as well. And you can research culture tech. The Pope likes us enough at this point. There we go. So hopefully that'll give a good tech boost to all of our things. So right now we've got a culture bonus on the focus for legalism. We've got a plus 13.3% modifier and plus 100 for being uh, that being our focus. For this one, the same thing. For military tech, even better. Cultural flexibility, that is good. Cultural flexibility is a very, very good thing because, if I remember correctly, it's the one that determines how long... Yeah, it's your penalty for being a different culture, which is useful when you're taking over places. And we've got the chance to have another court chaplain. You are only 32, Andre, and you want to be the chaplain. That is a good thing. Research me some culture tech and bump that to an 18. Oh yeah. Masterful scholar. Now obviously he's not going to provide as good of a uh, boost as the other guy did. But it's something. And it gets us there. And really, that's all we need. Uh, normal city taxes don't care. Hmm. I think I'm going to bump it up to a 4. I would really like it if you managed to fabricate a claim. That would be swell. Bishop Thomas died of camp fever? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Don't care. What are you doing? Oh, you're fighting somebody. Noble customs? Even better. That is to do with how much your nobles like you. And military organization went up to level 2. Double good. I'm liking the way this is going. This is a good, strong start for this set. Uh, King Herman the Gentle has declared the English Holy War for Gallica. Okay. Oh, you have fun with that. Oop. Elise de Harcourt. You... No, you're not my granddaughter. You're good at stewardship. So let's see if we can get somebody also good at stewardship to teach you. Jervis, he'll do. You kids have fun now. What are you doing? You're attacking the Serene Doge. Okay. Uh, Prince Gilbert of England seeks to see the Duchy of Brittany granted to a new ruler. Well, I don't think that's going to fly about you stop doing that, because you have no power. You literally have no power. Good. Now quit it. That's interesting. So we're going to end up having a little bit of stuff there. Uh, do we want prestige? Well, we don't want to refuse them access. We'll, rel we'll welcome them reluctantly. We don't really need the prestige bonus at this point. Uh, we'll let them stay though. Why not? Roland de Harcourt is now of age. He's pretty good. Let's see if we can find somebody good for him. Um, okay, he's good at diplomacy. Want somebody who is also good at diplomacy, preferably with a good trait, such as genius or quick. Or strong. Strong could work. Hmm. So far, there's not really anybody. Well, there are people who have strong, genius, and quick, but they're all too old. Hmm. I 
Hello. You could do... You could do very nicely. I wonder, would you come to our court? No. But you might marry him. Arrange a mariage. Done deal. They provide a nice blend of skills, because they both have a certain amount. Ooh, he's created the Duchy of Gallica. Become Earl of lots of places. He won the war. Uh, good job, my Lord King. Well done. Whatever. That might, though, throw down how much of the... I don't know. No, we still hold pretty much everything. Oh, that's right, because he won't be able to use them for a while. He conquered it with a holy war. They won't like him. They're Catholic, though, so they'll like him a little bit. They won't have a religious problem with him, which is nice for him. Bishop William of Dole died a natural death. Well done. A uh, great Duke Nathaniel, I and a powerful group of loyalists have presented an ultimatum to the usurper King Eudes of France, demanding you rule over France. Wish us luck. Uh, who's joining you? It looks like just you. I suppose I could declare war on him for Artois, because that would kind of help her out. Is it just her? I think it's just her. How many levies does she provide? She's got 2,000 men. Hmm. Okay, how many does he have? And what is he doing at the moment? I thought he was at war. He is at war. Okay, and the Count of Navarra is helping out. Huh. That's interesting. I wonder how they got Navarra. Um, okay. I could offer to join his war. Does that mean I can offer to join hers? I could. But then that would implement limited current authority. I don't want that. If I take it, I want it to have medium so I can change it to high. <clears throat> I think I might try to declare war on him for a different reason and hope I can defeat the majority of his armies. Well, where is he, anyway? He's hanging out in... Is he hanging out in... Oh, no, he's coming back. This could be interesting. Alright, let's see what he does. He might have some other people join the war against him if he doesn't do so fantastically. What are you guys doing? You're fighting in the, the war. Oh, hang on, Duke Robert... Wait, what does Duke Robert have? Does he own anything? Oh, he owns Vermandois. Okay. Uh, Countess Ma Ooh. Oh dear. Nathaniel Jr. Jr. is dead. That's bad. Uh, no. You don't need to like me more. It's fine. Emma de Harcourt died of the Great Pox. No! You died of sex disease! Oh well, at least you gave him many children. Are we still allies? No, we're not still allies. Say... I wonder... Um, Franz, do I happen to have anybody in my family who you might want to marry? Not so much. Could give you this girl. But you wouldn't want her. Damn. Oh well, I've secured the marriage of his son to my granddaughter, so it should be okay. Uh, I tried to solve problems. I didn't really do so well. Knowledge of Majesty in Army Ends has increased. That's nice. How goeth the war? Well, nobody's really winning. Serene Doge of Pisa is besieging. You know... I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> we might as well. I mean, we can declare war on him for this place. We can always pick up a claim on that later. And we don't need to hold it ourselves. We can give it to somebody else like we did with them. Um, Alone. So, 
You, sir. Have at you. I don't think I'm at war with the rebels. I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I get to just be chilling with them. Of course, they might decide not to continue the war because I'm going to attack their liege lord, but that's okay. We'll see how things go. We've got 1,400 men here. Raise that, raise that. Should be enough ships to bring them over. Come on. Join. Right, I need to create the fleet. Give me the fleet. On you go. Okay. Uh, drop them off over there. I'll just have everybody march into Artois. Go forth. Food smuggled in lengthens the siege. That's nice. Uh, we'll crank it down to three. I don't want things to go too quickly so that we miss something. You're at war with me. You're at war with... He's what? That son of a bitch. Um, I will... Take the piety hit. And the Serene Doge is fighting against the, the Pisans. The Doge of Pisa seems to be doing okay at the moment. Um, how are you guys doing? Nobody's winning. You presumably haven't really done anything. The Assassin succeeded! The troublesome Chancellor who was roaming around the county trying to fabricate a claim on my title is no more. There is no trace leading back to me. Excellent work. Disband. Cool. So, my hope is that the King of France will surrender to me instead of to the rebels. Because I'd really rather not have um, the Crown Authority go down. I mean, if it does, I can live with that because we'll be elective and I can probably secure. Mm, become charitable, you bastard. Uh, I can probably secure the line of succession so that Brian inherits. I'd rather that I didn't have to do that and I could go straight to high crown authority and hopefully he'd live long enough. So that is our hope. Whether or not that pans out, well, that's completely different. Ah. Yes, I get the sense that the king is going to kick us their ass. Well, it's a good thing that I have some money. I could probably force him into a stalemate if I have to. If he... Oh, hang on. If that's all he's got, and it looks like it might be, I think I can kick his ass. For some reason, I'm hot... Oh, right, yes, I'm hostile with um, Venice because we're currently both at war. But he's an ally of the French king. He could beat me. Typhus has broken out in Vans. I don't care. Let's see where this goes. I don't want them to be able to reinforce the French army. If I can beat the French field army, then we won't have so much of a problem. I'm hoping they're going to try and attack. Wait, aren't they already at war for that? Yeah, they are already at war for that. Okay. I'm going to wait a minute. I think I will hire some mercenaries, but I won't hire them until this army's marching back this way. I do want to take out that field army if I can. Because that will give them a way, 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 way better chance of actually pushing the claim. I'd rather have the kingdom if I can get it. Castle infrastructure increases by one. Does that do enough? No, we're only at 1.3. Okay, that's fair enough. That's fine. Okay. I could storm that, but I don't want to. I guess I could always just hire up a couple of teams of mercenaries and hope they were enough. Could do that. 
I could get these two. I could get these three. 